does the facts show? Before COVID, the city had depreciated by over 14% in 2019. Mm-hmm. In fact, if you read paragraph 61 of the MPP's own 2020 media budget, this is what it says. Ken Overiata, on behalf of President Takufuado, says that in the year to December 2019, that was before COVID, okay. the Ghana CD cumulatively depreciated by 12.9% against the US dollar, compared with 8.4% depreciation in 2018 against the British pound. Now it says, against the British pound and euro, the Ghana CD cumulatively depreciated by 15.7%, okay, and 12.2% respectively. So even before COVID, our CD was depreciating at a very alarming rate. Bear in mind that the CD depreciated by only 9.6% in 2016 when Baumia and the MPP claimed that the fundamentals of our economy were weak, and that is why the CD was depreciating at 9.6%. Mm-hmm. Now you record an alarming depreciation rate of over 14% okay. in 2019 before COVID. So much so that President Ekufuado had to set up a 14-member committee, you remember, mm-hmm. to investigate the reasons for the depreciation of the CD. Had we recorded COVID-19 as at that time, the answer is no. Mm-hmm. So COVID is not the reason for our weak national currency. But it has not contributed. Fact, COVID rather strengthened it because it slowed down economic activity in 2020 and reduced the demand for dollar. In 2020, you realize that the city performed much better than it did in 2019. But it's so, only no, no, that makes out for the economy. So I have given you the first indicator because Dr. Bagumia, don't forget, told you in the position that if you want to know the strength of the fundamentals of every economy, the most important barometer is the exchange rate. Okay. That is why I'm start, starting with the exchange rate depreciation. Okay. You understand? Right. 9.6% depreciation in 2016, 14% depreciation in 2019 before COVID. Mm. The public debt, which is our bain today, had increased from 120 billion as of December 2016, when the XYL NDC Mahama administration was leaving office. Mm to 225 billion cities as of March 2020. A nominal increase of 105 billion cities, okay? And in terms of debt to GDP ratio, we had increased from 56% of debt to GDP ratio to 64% in 2019. If you added the Dutch and Esla debt, debt to GDP ratio was already heading to 70% before COVID. What does that tell you? What that tells you is that before COVID, we were already borrowing recklessly. The figures say so. Before COVID, how were we spending? Responsibly or recklessly? The figures show that in 2018, I am not saying it, the, this government's own documents submitted to the IMF for the $1 billion rapid credit facility shows, page three of it is what I have in my hand here, that in 2018, we recorded a budget deficit of 7% and 7.5% 7. in 2019. Mm. Meaning that before COVID, we had crossed the fiscal acceptable threshold of 5% of budget deficit. We were already being reckless mm. in our expenditures before COVID-19. Again, before COVID, hmm, our debt service amount had increased from 14 billion cities in 2016 to 37 billion in 2019 and constituted 91% of tax revenue. In other words, we're using about 91% of our tax revenue as a country to service our debt before COVID. Before COVID, Aisha, the real sector was already on the decline. Mm. The manufacturing sector, which grew by 7.9% in the year 2020, 16 under President Mama, and today I want to give you evidence of every figure I give you. They speak and rattle figures without any evidence. I'm going to demonstrate to you that he has peddled falsehood even on this platform. Okay. Now, this is Appendix 1A of the 2023 budget statement. Okay. And then you check the growth figures for the real sector. Before COVID, manufacturing sector growth 7.9. You've mm-hmm. seen that, right? Yeah. Now, 2019, 6.3%. There was a decline. Construction sector under President Mahama, 2016, 8.4%. Now, before COVID, 2019, negative 4.4%. Now, it is therefore not true 
that our economy was the toast of the world. Everything was rosy with our economy. But, but the president admitted that the economy is in crisis. No, I am saying that the claim that was everything the... was well with our economy before COVID struck is palpable falsehood. And I've demonstrated that to you with incontrovertible facts.